Welcome back to the classroom. My name is Mr. Wong and today we'll be going through a past paper question. We're going to try and solve uh, something for module one inquiry question one, which is kinematics equation. Now we have a car that's moving at eight meters per second south and accelerates at 1.5 meters per second squared north for four seconds. It then accelerates at two meters per second squared north for a further eight seconds. Um, let's just start by highlighting the key numbers. So we go south, accelerates north, four seconds, uh, and then we also have another acceleration for eight seconds. To start the question, I'm going to say going north is going to be by positive direction, okay? So we want to calculate the velocity of the car after four seconds. This velocity is asking us to calculate the final velocity. If I have a look at the um, values that are given to me, the most appropriate one would be V, final, equals to U, our initial velocity, plus A, T, acceleration and time. We know that the initial velocity is going to be negative A, meters per second, negative because it's going south. We have an acceleration of 1.5, that's gonna be positive because that's going north. And we went for four seconds. So if I do my substitution, negative eight plus positive 1.5 times four, let's plug it into our calculator. The velocity we have at this point is negative two meters per a second. Essentially, we're moving two meters per second south at this point here. Okay, that goes through that question. Next one, it says calculate the velocity of the car at 12 seconds. So here we're trying to calculate again the final velocity at 12 seconds. Now this one is a little bit misleading because what you can actually see here is we undergo two accelerations. Uh, the formula that we have over here, this A represents a constant acceleration, as in the acceleration stays the same during that time period. So instead of using the um, values we have here, we're going to use the data that we have here. So the actual time to get to that 12 seconds, that final velocity, we're going to count for that eight second period of time, uh, instead of counting this 12 in total, because it's two separate accelerations. We know what the initial velocity is. It's negative two meters per second. That was the velocity we reach before we do our second acceleration, okay? And obviously our acceleration is positive two meters per second, okay, squared. All right, again, I'm going to write out my formula. My initial is negative two plus my acceleration, which is two plus times my time. I'm going to plug that into the calculator. And the final velocity will be a positive 14 meters per second. Essentially, we're going 14 meters per second north. Now, if you've already written the plus sign here and you mentioned that direction, you won't have to talk about direction here. Okay, let's go to the third part of this question. It says calculate the displacement of the object at 12 seconds. Now, this one might be a bit misleading for some people. Again, it's because we have two accelerations. You probably would know the best formula to use here is s equals to ut plus half a t squared because this displacement accounts for the fact that we moved at a constant acceleration. Now, because we have two accelerations, we actually need to account for two segments of the displacement. We need to account for the first section and the second part. So we're going to do this in two. The initial velocity we had here, according to our question, is negative eight, okay? We traveled for four seconds and we had an acceleration of positive 1.5 times four square, 
that is our uh, time for our second one over here. Our initial velocity was negative two. We traveled for eight seconds. We accelerated at two meters per second squared north, which is positive two. And then we have a time of eight seconds squared. So let's plug those into our calculators. So for the first one, we have a displacement of negative 20 meters. So we've gone south 20 meters. And then in the next eight seconds, we've gone positive 48 meters. So we've gone 48 meters north. So the total displacement, so S total, is the addition of these two components. And that gives us plus 28 meters or 28 meters north. And that's how you go through these kind of kinematics equation. Please make sure you are consistent with your direction. If you found this um, video useful in going through exam papers, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.